Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z 10 Shinhan figure, which is one that I have been so waiting for. I can't I can't say how happy I am to finally complete the Z Fighter group of characters. I feel like Yamcha and Tien should have come out a lot sooner, but they have come out, and it's a very good thing. Is it a perfect figure? Uh not so much. There are definitely a couple of issues. Mostly it's pretty good though. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about six inches, almost exactly six inches tall, which makes him just about 15 and a half centimeters, pretty close to that. And he's overall aesthetically pretty pleasing. They did do some shading on the green on his pants. It's not anywhere near as directed as I would like. It's kind of just like put some shading here, some shading here, a little bit kind of in the crotch, and that's about it. So it's not like they actually focused it in the recessed areas. It's just kind of haphazard, but it looks good enough. It, it gives you the illusion of proper shading, so that's okay. The skin tone is a nice color. I don't think there's any shading on it, though. It kind of looks like there's a little bit in the recesses, but I can't tell if that's just shadows and the way the plastic kind of has the specularity uh, where it's like sucking up some of the light and bouncing some of it back. I don't know, but it looks good enough. It's fine. And then they did paint the scar pretty well. So that's good. The wrist things are painted. Well, the boot things are painted. Well, no problems there. One problem I do have, and I'm going to skip right to this. We're going to talk about the heads in the accessory section, but look at this head right here, his primary head, his right eye is not where it belongs at all. And if you're wondering, well, maybe it doesn't look so bad. If I do it like this, you can start to see even more how it's way too far in and it's low. I don't know if that's a uniform thing. I'm going to have to check the other one I got. I always get two of these guys for issues just like this. Hopefully that's not the way it is for everybody because that is not what it's supposed to look like. They should both be the same as his left eye right here, the one on the right of the screen. And you can look at this. Look at that. The eyes are uniform on both sides. On this one, he looks like someone mushed his eye down. So that's... That's a big problem. Luckily, the other heads look okay, though. So let's go ahead and get into the accessory portion of this. We have four total heads. We have the one head that we just looked at. We have one head where he's smirking, one where he looks kind of surprised, and then one where he's yelling. And they are all very nicely done. I'm very pleased with those. Uh, we have a few different hands. We have the two fist hands that come on him in the package. One hand where he's doing like a kind of like a signature pose. Uh, two hands that kind of go together. They pretty much have to because of how they're sculpted for the tri-beam, which is really nice. We have two claw or grapple or energy effect hands. And then we have two wide open palm hands. And that's probably a pretty good array. I think that's a good, eno good enough amount. We do have, of course, Chatsu. And I'm going to take a second to talk about Chatsu because... I've wanted this guy for a long time. He should go with Tien. He's even done some fighting in the show. He's been in the show more than just when he blew up on top of Nappa. All we got out of this guy is rotation in the head. That is it. You can't even make him stand up. They couldn't just put a ball peg in each hip and make the arms have like a kind of a ball peg so you could at least make him look like he's just standing there. So now, when you have your collection on display, you can't do anything with Chatsu but stuff him onto Nappa's back. That is so irritating to me. It's well enough done, but it wouldn't have cost them very much. Like, you can see the arms are separate pieces. They could have easily just given them ball pegs. Uh, maybe, maybe even put a little bit of a curve at the shoulder so that you can actually drop his arms down to his sides. It wouldn't have been that hard for them to make the, the hips on ball pegs either. It's like instead of going a little bit extra and still making a decent profit, they're going as far back as they can to make as much profit as possible, and that is not cool by me. So now you can't put Chiatsu in your collection unless he's humping Nappa. That's just really, really irritating. And then lastly, we do get to this little clip piece that is so that you can put him on Nappa's back. That's it. So Chiatsu is just a wasted accessory. At least the Cyberman can stand on his own. Very disappointed with that. But the figure is mostly good, so let's go ahead and talk about that. The neck articulation is a little bit different than we're used to. It is still a ball hinge, which is not ideal, but the way they've done it is kind of better. They put a big ball peg on the top, which does allow for the head to move a lot more naturally, and it's a little bit easier to, to manipulate that ball hinge, but you're still most likely going to have to take the head off, rotate that hinge, and then bend it over. But uh, that's okay, it's alright. And the neck is still on a ball peg, so you can move the head around pretty well, so that's pretty good. We do have a butterfly joint in here, but... Uh, that's all the range you get out of it, so that's definitely not good. It's just, it's recessed too far into the torso so that you can't pull it out any farther without the arm hitting. So, that's not good. 
Uh, it doesn't really hurt the figure any, but that, that joint isn't really good for anything, but pulling his shoulders out just a little bit to give him a little bit more of that iconic TN bowling ball shoulder look. But uh, I, I guess that's okay. That's good enough. For the shoulders, they're connected on a ball peg. And then, of course, we have our ball hinge, which is done the way they did Broly's, which is how they should all be done rather than how they did Nappa's. So that's fine. You can bring the arm all the way out. That's really good. Full rotation, bicep swivel. That's exactly how they need to do all their shoulders. I don't know why they started doing that other design. It's just, uh, it's just no good. <laughs> this is exactly how it should be done. Double jointed elbows look good, work well, no problems there. Ball hinge in the wrist, no problems. That's fine. For the torso, I'm not entirely sure what's going on in here. I think there's a combination of a ball peg and a hinge, maybe a double ball peg and a hinge, but it leans side to side nicely, leans forward and back nicely, and you do have a ball peg at the bottom as well, so you can pretty much move this however you want. And You can kind of see there's a little bit of a lift, so that's why I think there's a hinge in there. So you can really crunch him over if you want to, and it looks good, really no issues. So I'm pretty pleased with that. You can go back on that hinge also, and you can kind of see inside there, so that's not ideal, but you don't probably need to lean it back that far. It still goes back a good distance on its own. The belt is a floating piece, but it's it's really snug, which I think is good. It hides the joints nicely. For the hips, they rotate all the way back, which is fantastic, and pretty much all the way forward, just a little bit out to the side, because his diaper up front has it's a little bit more of a V shape rather than straight up and down, but I think that's okay. You can bring the legs out to the side, not super far, but I think that'll probably be okay. You do get a thigh swivel, so that's good. It's not a ball peg, it's just a swivel, unfortunately. Um, they're a little floppy, not, not incredibly, not to the side so much, but forward and back, they're a little loose. It's not really going to be a problem, I don't think, though. And now we have the knees, which is just terrible, or they are just terrible. The design is terrible. Very, very chunky looking. It looks like a transformer almost. There's just no excuse for that. We've seen basic cheap figures like the figure I standard figures with the baggy pants accomplish a baggy pants knee and these guys are just not even close. This I would argue looks worse than the original Goku knee because at least that only had one chunk where you could see inside a little bit. This is just mechanical and sculpted and it's just terrible. And then when they're not bent you have a huge mechanical chunk on the back there. It's just I don't know why they did that. It's not terrible when you just have him standing there. If you don't bend the knee too much, it's not going to stand out, I guess. But even then, it's just its very distracting. Not a good design at all. Now, what is a good design, they did a double ball peg for the ankle again, which isn't necessarily the ideal way to do it, but they did it. They executed it very nicely. You can get pretty good range out of that ankle rocker. So I do like that. That's really, really nice. Uh, bringing the foot forward, pretty minimal. Going back is pretty good, so that's all right. So, you know, it's not the best in the world, but it'll definitely work. I think having this baggy ankle piece right here would have been a perfect opportunity for them to use a ball hinge, but they didn't do it. And we do have a minimal toe hinge, so, you know, it's, it's not the best figure in the world. There are a few issues for sure, but a lot of it is really good. Overall, I'm very pleased with it. It does look like Tien, aside from that one lazy eye that we have going on. So, yeah, I'm pleased with it overall, but... The fact that Chachi is not a figure in any capacity and that the knees are so bad is definitely a problem. I wouldn't say it's enough of a problem to not buy the figure though. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.